I think when paying for college, obviously everyone wants to get out of college with as little debt, if not none, as possible. Um, so whenever I was a senior in high school, I really focused on filling out every single scholarship opportunity that I could. Every single um, Monday at school, we had a wall and it was like a scholarship wall and they would post um, papers every week that would be new scholarships that had opened and so I think I applied for every single scholarship that was posted on that wall. I was able to get my first two years of college paid for just off of the scholarships that I applied for my senior year of high school. The scholarships that I got in high school um, were not necessarily just based off of academics. I got a few scholarships based off of just like clubs and organizations that I was involved in um, in high school, like the Junior Civitan Club, the Junior Alliance Club, um, stuff like that. But after those two years, um, Tech has a scholarship program here at school uh, that you can apply for every year and you're awarded scholarships from the university through that. And after that, and filling out the FAFSA, um, I was awarded a couple of grants from FAFSA and a few scholarships from Tech, and I'm still able to get through college um, debt-free. Being in Tennessee, you have, you know, a lot of opportunities, you know, with the Tennessee Promise, uh, different things, you know, that allow, you know, students to be able to go to school for free, uh, different community colleges that offer different things. So I think, you know, that's kind of uh, essential as well to be able to look at, you know, the state that you're in, you know, and seeing what you can, you know, use as your advantage uh, to go into college. My family was like, they wanted me to go to college no matter what. So it was more like, hey, you're gonna do whatever you can. You're gonna like, you're gonna keep good grades. Like, um, you're gonna apply for as many scholarships as you can. We're gonna fill out the FAFSA. We're gonna do all this stuff. The FAFSA is like the monster that's underneath your bed whenever you're like two years old. That is really scary, but it turns out to actually not be that bad. When you first look at it, it it's it's overwhelming. You know, there's all these words, all these numbers, you don't really know what they mean. For me, obviously it was my first experience filling it out, my family's first experience filling it out. So the first time that we did it, we kind of just like all sat down together to figure it out. And there were a few times that like, sometimes we couldn't figure things out and we would have to ask, we would have to ask a counselor at my school or call someone. That's okay, it's okay to do that. Um, just as long as you get everything, everything done correctly and get it submitted on time. When you're starting to think about the financial aid process, apply for every single scholarship that you possibly can. Um, reach out to your school counselors and see if there's anything else you can do. Um, definitely fill out the FAFSA. Um, usually everyone that fills it out gets some form of financial aid awarded to them. Um, no matter what it is, every little bit helps.